The Z9WA is a Chinese helicopter in War Thunder that brings a few surprises to close air support. Let's check it out. The Harbin Z9 series of helicopters are Chinese developments of the Eurocopter SA-365 Dolphin II that was licensed for local production and adaptation back in the 1980s. Generally speaking, the Z9 family are general-purpose utility helicopters, and the vast majority of the different Z9 models are civilian or non-combat variants used for a pretty wide variety of roles, including everything from civilian medevac to battlefield scout duties. The Z9W was the first combat-capable version, developed towards the end of the 1980s, and was fairly basic in design, purpose, and capabilities. The basic Z9 was modified with a sensor suite on the roof above the cockpit, and a pair of weapon pylons added on each side of the helicopter. This version became operational in the early 1990s and represented China's first helicopter with a credible anti-tank capability. But the design was still a utility helicopter at its core, and it had a lot of limitations. The Z9WA variant is an upgrade over the basic Z9W and uses a more advanced sensor system mounted down under the nose, has slightly upgraded engines, compatibility with a new helmet-mounted sight, and additional carrying capacity on the weapon pylons, allowing for more ordnance to be carried, including anti-tank, anti-air, and anti-shipping missiles. Now, despite being armed with a reasonably modern weapon system, the Z9WA is still basically a civilian utility helicopter, and as such, it lacks armor for critical systems or protection for the crew. But, as a trade-off, it can be used for non-combat duties when required, and it's generally a very flexible multi-role design. Only a small number of Z9WA helicopters have been produced, and it serves exclusively with the People's Republic of China, although other versions of the Z9 have been a popular export. What we're looking at in War Thunder is the Z9WA, an attack helicopter in rank 6 of the Chinese tech tree, at battle rating 9.7. This vehicle comes with a reasonable supply of countermeasures and a fairly capable weapon system with a CCIP for all of its weapons, night vision, thermal sensors, and an amazing 80x optical zoom. It also features a radar warning receiver, laser warning receiver, and a missile approach warning system. The only thing it doesn't get is an auto tracker. For weapons, you get some options for rocket pods, gun pods, and missiles, but like a lot of other helicopters adapted from civilian designs, it doesn't have any built-in cannon. So if you want guns, you have to take a gun pod. Furthermore, you only get one pylon on each side of the helicopter, which usually means you're just going to take the eight missiles. Now, for air-to-air -air missiles, you get the TY-90, which is a very capable weapon with good tracking, reasonable performance, and an all-aspect seeker. This is a genuinely good missile, and you'll find that it can get some really surprising hits. For air-to-ground missiles, you get two versions of the HJ-8. This is a small missile with a relatively light warhead, but it's tandem heat, so the armor pen on it is pretty good if you can land a direct hit. No auto tracker, so you're going to have to guide these ones in manually. The primary difference between the E and H models is just the armor pen and explosive mass, but both have a fairly short engagement range. The flight performance of the Z9WA provides a fair amount of agility in forward flight, but it feels a bit underpowered. The collective response is a little sluggish compared to some of the other helicopters in the game, but the cyclic is nice and snappy. Acceleration in forward flight, as well as its maximum speed, are both kind of unimpressive, and this actually impacts combat tactics, which I'll discuss in a minute. Another thing to consider is that lateral mobility in a hover is very poor. It can pitch quickly, but it moves laterally very slowly, which can contribute to some really low survivability, 
as it's more difficult to evade incoming fire when you're guiding a missile in or looking for a target. The helicopter has retractable landing gear, so make sure you pull it up after takeoff or everyone's going to think you're a noob. Taking this helicopter out into ground battles is pretty fun, so long as you keep the limitations in mind. It's slow and has only two weapon stations, so early game rocket rush type tactics don't really work very well, and the vast majority of your time in this helicopter is going to be spent with the guided missiles. The stat card on the HJ-8 missile gives them a range of about 4 kilometers, but in practice I find they work best at around 3.5, which is well within the range of enemy SPAA, so even doing the regular standoff missile attack meta, you're going to be at risk of incoming fire. Now the lack of an auto tracker also means that you're going to have to babysit the missiles on their way in, which takes your attention away from situational awareness and can put you in positions where you have to make a split-second risk assessment when your missile approach warning goes off to decide if you want to try and evade and potentially waste your missile shot, or keep guiding the weapon in. The flip side of that coin is that since the helicopter accelerates very slowly from a vertical hover, you might not be able to dodge the incoming missile even with a correct maneuver, simply because it can't perform the maneuver quickly enough. So. Don't hesitate to be generous with spamming the countermeasures when you've got an incoming shot. Every little bit helps, and sometimes it'll probably be worth it to take the risk and just guide your missile into its target. One thing the Z9WA really excels at is air combat. The TY-90 missiles have really good range for a helicopter weapon and excellent overall performance. And in playing this helicopter, I found myself kind of falling into a pattern of getting one or two air kills almost every time I spawned in before I started looking for ground targets. The TY-90 can even pick up the scout micro drones without much difficulty, so free points whenever you spot one within about 4 kilometers. Now the major shortcoming of this helicopter, aside from its slow acceleration, is the lack of armor. Even light machine guns from scout vehicles or entry-level helicopters can pose a serious threat. And because the anti-tank missiles are relatively short range, the Z9WA ends up having pretty low survivability. Its weapon system is potent, and I'm usually able to get at least one ground kill when I fly this out, but I also get shot down pretty often, since literally everything that sees this is going to have a way to take it out. Now in PvE battles, this thing struggles quite a bit. It's far too slow to keep up with other helicopters, and it falls into a pattern of trying to catch up only to have all the ground targets dead by the time it gets on scene. And even when you in, like, can anticipate when the next group is going to spawn and where it's going to spawn, it won't take long for your teammates to show up and start mopping up the leftovers. Also, the lack of armor and the inability to outrange the SAM sites means that this thing can get shot down pretty easily by the AI ground units. Overall, I can't recommend this for the current PvE battles. Visually, this is a pretty good looking helicopter, kind of. The sensor system on the nose is pretty ugly, and it kind of makes it look like a duck or something. But otherwise, it's a reasonably slick design with a clean fuselage and the fantail assembly, giving it kind of a refined look that goes very well with the solid black paint job it gets. Landing this one isn't too bad, but just remember to put the gear down and keep in mind that the collective isn't very responsive. Rotation in a hover is pretty average and the snappy cyclic helps a bit in making small corrections on the way down. To close out on the Z9WA. This helicopter has a credible weapon system with everything but an auto tracker. The optical zoom on the targeting system is amazing. It can carry a reasonable load of missiles, and it's got countermeasures. However, it has no armor protection at all. It's slow. Its anti-tank missiles are short range, and its weapon load gets pretty small if you go with rockets or gun pods. The final verdict on the Z9WA is that this helicopter is relatively basic, but it's fun to fly and it has credible weapons. It doesn't take a lot of spawn points to get into it, 
but you're going to get shot down quite often since it's a bit of a glass cannon. It's an offensive upgrade over the basic Z9W, but it still has the defensive limitations of its predecessor. As always, thanks for watching.